welcome to Psychic Medium Tony G. I'm Tony G. And this is the show. <laughs> Uh, basically me trying to figure out what I'm supposed to say next. <laughs> that really, that really is a show because most of the time I'm not doing the talking spirit is. So when I'm actually doing the talking, it's a little like this. Okay. The other rest of the time, the other rest of the time, I'm trying to figure out why does my hair look like this? Stop. Stop doing that with your forehead. That's why I wear bangs. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So on today's show, I am going to be uh, taking callers. If you want to call in, it's 277. Uh, it's 845-277-9171. Uh, yep, 845-277. Two seven seven nine one three one, and I will be answering your questions, helping you connect to loved ones. On the other side, I'll do the best that I can, and I will be um, uh, also in the chat section of YouTube, helping to answer any questions I can answer there. I like to start the show off with a clearing, and today seems like a really good day to do self love. Um, everyone I've talked to recently or, you know, the clients that I've worked with, one of the things, there's just a lot of transitions going on, a lot of things in our personal lives and in our work lives, in some parts of the world, they'll, they're still on lockdown and they're implementing even stronger lockdowns. Have they not seen what's happened in the countries that are completely opened and the countries that stayed completely open? Maybe they ought to look at that. Right? Just saying. I mean, just, just saying. Okay. So let's do self-love. Okay. Because from all things, okay, in my humble channeled opinion where there is love there is growth where there is love there is expansion so self-love starting with the self and having that growth and expansion is the most important thing so we have self-love i get a no on that we're going to start clearing that now this is at the two minute 30 second mark so if you are um wanting to keep working on self-love, just come back to the show, come back to the two minute, two and a half minute mark and get that clearing on self-love. It's going to work whether you're listening, re-listening <clears throat> and you can direct it to others. Now that's not something I often say in my show, but if there's somebody, you know, who's really having a difficult time and trying to like work through things right now, Direct that self-love clearing to them. It's the angels that come in and do it. And if you believe in different deities like gods or saints, that's okay. They're going to come in. Whatever you believe in is going to come in and work on that self-love for you. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to start taking callers and answering their questions. Again, the call-in number is 845-277-9131 if you'd like to call in. If you'd like to place a call in the chat section, I will try to get to it and answer it. <laughs> By the When people start throwing uh, questions in the chat session part, it goes really fast and the energy gets combined. So I'll do my best to, to do that. But right now we're going to go to um, the call log and I'm going to... Uh, take 904. Hey, 904. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Um, excellent. Thank you so much for asking. How can I, where are you calling from and what is your question or what, so, what's your name and where are you calling uh, from? Uh, I'm calling from Florida and I was just wondering if you could do a message from Spirit, any message. Okay. And what's your first name, love? Patty. Patty. Okay, Patty. Um, Patty, I don't know why this is, is coming through. It's the weirdest thing. It may or may not mean something to you. If it does, please let me know. If it doesn't, it might, 
Like this happens a lot where I give somebody a name and they don't know who it is right away. But then later on, they're like, oh, my goodness, that's so and so. Now, this can be somebody on the other side or it can be somebody here. But their name is Laura. Laura. L-A. Well, there's two ways to spell Laura. But Laura. Um, I don't know if uh, that is... Uh, uh, making sense if that if, does it does that mean something to you laura because no. this, this i'm no. going to tell you something I'm, this person I'm, is not going away and they have they were younger okay so okay here's what i'm going to say patty and i want to apologize and please be patient with me if this is not for patty no, somebody on the line somebody listening or watching now or later Laura is just taking this opportunity to come through she her hair was um blonde but with some help you know what we mean by that like mine blonde but with some help um and she, it wasn't really blonde it was like that dirty blonde and she was thinner and she's appearing younger here and she just needs to tell somebody she's really sorry for what she's sorry for what occurred. She's sorry for the way it happened. She's sorry for how, I don't know if this is how she left or how it ended, but she's really sorry. And I know I, this person's on the other side and I get goosebumps on that. And she's, she's on the other side because I know she's floating and she is, the way she is talking is um, past tense. So for whomever that is for, um, yep, and there she goes. Okay, Patty, as far as you go, a message from your angels. Well, the first angel that comes, there's two angels. Oh, my God, I love this so much. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go now. <laughs> okay, um, Patty, uh, the the the. First, the very first thing I need to tell you is there are two angels with you. One is like a light blue and the other one is pink. And yeah, no, I could give you their names, but it doesn't really matter. I can't pronounce most of the names of the angels anyway. So what I'm going to say is what they want me to tell you. The complications are fading away. Everything is about to smooth out. Um, there, uh, The pink angel is always for me love or healing. And when I say love, um, that's just self-explanatory love. And the healing is with the pink angel, especially matters of love. Um, the pink angel is always the angel that comes in when we need that love healing. Healing things that have hurt our heart or closed our heart in the past. So let's let's even do a little bit more clearing on that for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Holy guacamole, who? Um, <laughs> and I wanna say, you know, everybody says, I'm okay with it. If that happened a long time ago, I'm fine. No, you know what? It sits someplace in us until we completely let it go and we have absolutely no reaction we don't even think about it. If somebody brings it up, it it has no, it's no, there's no trigger. There's no emotion attached to it. So oftentimes these are things like divorce, losing someone, losing a, a, a pet, losing, just I hear losing, losing a relationship, losing a love, losing a pet, losing, lo even losing money, losing a job. It's, it's where we feel like we lost something. OK, so that angel is doing that. And the yep. other the other angel, the blue one is coming in steady to say, you know, you're strong and you know you're strong and you have felt like you needed to be stronger. Like you're coming off very, very strong, almost the best um, offense is a defense. You you show up kind of ready for battle when there is no battle that doesn't sound flattering but i know exactly what they mean what they mean is when you show up you're if anybody says anything or does anything oh you've got your you've got it you know exactly how you're going to react respond 
whatever. You show up ready. Um, they're saying you can you can hone some of that back now. You don't need that anymore. The attacks are done. The that phase is done. Okay, that phase, whatever that phase was with, whether it's family relations, um, work relations, friend relations, that phase is done. You don't, you know what? And I love this. We don't need to defend ourselves to anyone for any reason at any time. If somebody doesn't, if, if they want to uh -oh. say something that's out of character, that's their character, not ours. If somebody wants to think something, that's their thoughts about themselves that they're puking on us. And we just don't need to deal with that. Okay. Um, and we definitely, uh -oh. oh, we are not, we, we definitely do not need to defend it because again, it's not our stuff. You're solid. You're good. I feel like there's going to be, and people get really nervous when I say this, there's going to be a softening of your heart. Now, people get nervous because they feel like, no, I don't want to be taken advantage of. But that's not what happens at all. When there's the softening of the heart, we bring in people who are in alignment with that. So this is what your angels want you to know today. They want you to know that you are definitely on the right track. Keep moving. Don't um, don't concede and don't um, don't concede and don't stop. Which I guess those are two different things. But don't concede and don't stop, and you're going to be amazing okay and i want to give you just one more name and again if this name is not for you it's for somebody listening i'm getting the name ellen or eleanor ellen or eleanor does that name mean anything to you she was a <coughs> patty does Hello? that does that name mean anything um, to you i had an i had an aunt eleanor when i was younger she passed when i was really long Okay. Yeah. I wanted to did she have a thinner yeah, um, did she have a thinner face and lighter hair? Like it it was probably gray, uh, but she dyed it at some point. Do you recall that? I was tall and thin. I mean I didn't okay. you know, I was very I was very young. This is her and I remember seeing in her apartment a few times. Okay. It's not somebody we saw regularly. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It, I'm going to tell you, this is her. Her face is thin and kind of, I, I and for me to get the name, it, it's, it's Eleanor. Ellen or Eleanor. It's Eleanor. And I think some people might have just shortened her name, but I'm going to tell you, she wants to tell you. There, okay, first of all, now the whole group is coming in and I'm telling them, no, 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 slow your roll. We're not going there. I'm not talking to the whole family today. We're not bringing in everybody because we all, you know, there comes a point in our life where we have more people on the other side than we do here. And we have really significant people. Yes, and then we have really significant people. I don't know why her voice is the strongest one. Like her name came through. I'm going to tell you, she, and they're showing up on my right. So if you're watching me on YouTube, I'm pointing over my right shoulder, like up and over my right shoulder, because today they're showing up on my right. And she just wants to say, um, she wants to say, I love you. But she also wants to say, we love you. Now, the fact that she passed when you were younger, something people don't realize or think about. Like on some level, we already know this. But what we don't think about is when our loved ones passed, even if we didn't know them, even if we weren't close to them, they become our soul tribe. They become our soul warriors. And they're up there. And when I say up there, I mean at like three feet off of our ground level, which is for a lot of people like shoulder level, right around that level. They're up, they're with us. Let me put it that way. We always look at the clouds and think, oh, they're in the stars, they're in the clouds. No, they're right here, right now, right all the time. And it doesn't matter when they went, they worked with us from that point forward. 
They're helping us manifest the life that we want here. And her biggest statement to you is do it different, do it different, do it different. This can mean, and I'm, I know like, like this, I love this message because this message is so good for you and anybody else listening. Do it different can mean do it different in your mind. Just like think a different thought, think it a different way. Figure and she's saying, figure out what's really important. And, and I, I can't believe this is about to come out of my mouth. And smack dab that. What is smack dab? I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's definitely coming from her. That's like saying dang nam it, which somebody up there is saying dang nam it. Oh my gosh. Oh, these guys are fun. I like them. Okay, so your family, your your soul warriors, your family ancestors are are they're fun. They're funny and they're fun. Okay, so the next thing she wants to say really quick um, is don't let yourself get caught in the loop. Okay, I think this has to do with cycles and patterns and the way we think and the way we do things. She's saying there's a new beginning coming in for you. Please embrace that new beginning. Don't worry about anything that has happened in the past. Just move forward in a strong, positive um, way. And you're going to be amazed at what comes next. Remember at the beginning of the show, I was saying all things grow from love. So the more love we have and the more love we feel, the more we can grow from our own, I'm going to call it soil, but it's soul. And our soul puts out there everything that is for us in this world. You know, everybody, I, I want to say this and I hope everybody listens to this and, and you feel the truth when you hear it. There, we are all meant to be millionaires here. Now, everybody's idea of millionaire is different. A millionaire in love, in business, we're not put here to be um, impoverished. We're not put here to have a poverty mindset about love, about work. Anything we do, even if it's a nine to five, we're supposed to go into that with so much abundance and receive so much abundance for whatever we do. There's no limit. It's it's right in front of us and we just have to open that gate. So I I'm going to just say the gate is open. No, I'm going to I'm going to clear and heal that. When I say I, I don't mean I. I'm not trying to take credit for anything. It's angels and the Holy Spirit. And again, if you believe in different deities, they're coming in to do that for you. Who now um, the gate is open and we're accepting. And that's the big thing. We receive and accept because somebody can hand us something and we can feel like, oh, it's just not right to take that. Well, yes, it is. You know, God, him, God's hand is not going to come down and give you a check. It has to come through others in one way or another. And when you say it can't come this way and it can't come this way, you're limiting your own receiving and accepting. So we're receiving and accepting and always possible. No, let's clear that also. Okay, Caddy, on that note, they want to say they love you. And I'm going to get to the next caller because, well, I probably should at this point. But I'm really grateful for your call. And I'm really happy that you made it through today. And I really, I truly hope that this was helpful and what you were looking for. Yes, thank you. It makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, I am going to go to the next caller. But before I do, I need to say um, for somebody listening, re-listening, um, for somebody that is going to get this, two nights ago, a young gir, woman, girl, a young woman, uh, and I'm horrible with ages, showed up as I was 
falling asleep. And I know it was somebody who had passed on. She has um, black skin and thick braids that were very long, very beautiful girl, thin, um, very beautiful. And she came through then and I told her to leave me alone. I was trying to sleep. <laughs> she has a message for several people out there. Um, so whomever knows this person, um, the first thing, oh God, she is so young. Um, the first thing that she wants to say is uh, the word escape. Escape, escape, escape. Now, typically, if I knew the situation, I would probably say maybe she was using drugs to escape. Maybe she was trying to escape a certain situation she was in. And I get goosebumps on that one. Um, and maybe the situation she was trying to escape was a, a, a situation where she was being held. I don't know. Whatever this is, she did try to get out of it. And I get the goosebumps again. Okay. She, she did try to escape or get out of the situation that she was in. And she did try to um, make a break for it or make a run for it. And it failed. But she did try. She just wants whomever is listening to know she tried. She is beautiful. She has like the most beautiful face. And she is, it just makes my heart ache that she is, she's young. And I can tell she was well cared for because she has like the just her presence and the way she is uh, carries herself is not um I can tell she was well cared for and um somewhat is I don't I don't know the the proper words to use I don't want to be offending anybody but she was she had education she was like put together well is the way I want to say this. Okay. She was put together well. Um, and those braids, they're so thick. One braid of her is more than all the hair on my head probably. And I know sometimes they, you, you know, I know sometimes with braids what they do, but in any case, what I'm saying is whoever this girl is and I, with her, I'm hearing the name like Joe or Joelle. Whatever that means. Now, if it doesn't mean something to you, that doesn't mean it's not the person you might think it is. Okay, I'm going to let her go now, and I'm going to go to the next caller, and the next caller is 313. 313, if you are on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone. And what's your name? Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling? Cheryl. I'm calling from Michigan. Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl from Michigan. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How can I help you today? I would just like a message. Um, from whom? Please and thank you. I try to be very specific about who you get Spirit, your message. Angel. Okay. Uh, Spirit, angel, ancestors, loved ones. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm not gonna let all of that come in because there's just not enough room in my space for all that. But here's what I'm gonna tell you: the first thing I see is a green angel with you. Now, most people would say this is Raphael. Okay, if it's Raphael, that's great. This angel, though, Raphael is the healing angel, and I believe there is some healing going on. But this is an angel of education and higher learning now mm -hmm. education doesn't always mean uh, school education Const um it doesn't always mean that education can mean learning a new business learning a new craft learning um more about your own spirituality mm -hmm. and intuition it's any area mm -hmm. where you are learning and growing and if you haven't started to experience this yet, it's coming in and it's coming in strong. And over the next month, you are going to have this desire to devour something, whatever it is. I feel like it's it's uh -huh. they're letting you know if if you're not already knowing what it is, you should know within the week. You may even figure it out tomorrow. 
what I'm going to say is uh, you are going to have some. And, and once you embark on this, it's I'm hearing the song. Ain't no stopping us now. Na, 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 na. Okay, singing is not one of my gifts. <laughs> singing is not my my strong point. It is my whatever. So don't we don't need to comment. You can't sing. We all know I can't sing. Okay, <laughs> but if they bring it, I sing it. Okay, <laughs> um, that's just the comic relief of the show. Okay, folks. <laughs> um, they're saying once you get on this, you're not going to get off it. It's going to be a lifelong thing. You're going to enjoy it. And it. I feel wow. like you might know as soon as tomorrow if you don't already know. You, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl, are about to jump on a journey that is going to be like a roller coaster ride. Now, this if this is about spirituality, you're about to have an awakening, an epiphany. Something's going to come in. And it may even start really? with a dream. It may even start with a dream where you uh. see something or someone and they just like, and in dreams, oftentimes loved ones don't talk, but you're like, oh, I can do, like all of a sudden you're like, I can do this? Oh, I can do this. But you, but to, to give you kind of a uh, confirmation, I have been trying to work on, like when you say crafts and projects, I have been trying to write down ideas so I can come up with my own kind of business so I can stop working for people. So I'm just trying to come up with ideas and ways to make money. And awesome. I only, you know, as far as what you said, as far as spirituality, yes, I've been working on it as well. So just okay. to so confirm I and give you confirmation. Yes, you're right on. Okay, thank you so much. And I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to say this is, I do believe, I, I'm going to say this and I'm going to, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, into, your intuition is opening, your spirituality is opening. Um, it will only open for you, anybody else listening. Yeah, open more if I stop drinking alcohol. <laughs> no, actually, sometimes when you drink alcohol, they can come through better. Not encouraging alcohol, folks, because <laughs> we relax. We don't feel as fearful. But what I'm getting for you, um, yes, uh -huh. don't drink alcohol because the you can um, sometimes skew the messages. <laughs> If you're not really yeah. braced in it. But what I am getting for you is you're about to open. Now, everybody thinks this is a, um, something that 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 is put in us. Yes, when we're born. It's put in us when we're born. It's there when we're born. I just give me one quick second here, love. I need to say, just don't go any place. I'm going to, I need to say Okay, this show airs on WSCS. It also airs on Rude Rangers TV and Rudy Radio. If you are watching on WSCS or one of those venues, we are about at the 30-minute mark. Part two of this show is coming up in a hot minute. Okay, yeah, I just can't pull hot minute off. But there will be another 30 minutes to this show. So please uh, watch the second half of this show or continue to watch on YouTube.